Welcome to your Korea update. I'm Katusa Corporal Min Kyubei. First aid is a fundamental taught to many soldiers. Army Sergeant Tan Pham takes us to Camp Stanley where soldiers use those skills to save animals on the battlefield. This isn't your typical first aid or casualty evacuation. Soldiers from the 106 Medical Detachment train with dog handlers on Camp Stanley to provide care for a military working dog. Luckily, this is only a training scenario with a stuffed animal, but if it was real world... I would have gone with the dog all the way, you know, to the treatment down in Yangsan all the way through. To Sergeant Edgar Lauer, his partner Gino is like family. You have to be attached to the dogs. I mean, you're working as, working as a team, so if you're not getting close to the dog, you're not going to work very well together. And that bond combined with first aid skills makes Private First Class Heidi Rose's job as an animal care specialist much easier. They're more accessible to the dog when the injury happens and they can get it done quicker because a lot of the injuries need to be treated quickly and effectively and we're not always there. So they're our first line to treating them. Shake well to dissolve, withdraw entire contents. Dog handlers must learn basic animal care skills like treating burns, broken bones, and infections. But at the end of the day, Sergeant Lauer still says. I love the, the job just because it's, it's a lot of fun. It's not monotonous. I mean, you're going out, you're doing something new every day. Best job in the Army. After 8 to 12 years of military service, Gino will retire. But until then, he remains a vital asset to the military. Army Sergeant Tan Pham, Camp Stanley, Korea. Military working dogs are initially trained at Lackland Air Force Base. That was your Korea Update. I'm Katusa Corporal, Min Kyu Bay.